In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the content that you unlock after you finish building your boat in Last Day on Earth, and we'll take a look at how you can most effectively complete that content so you can go to the next part of the game. I would recommend watching my boat building guide first if you haven't done that yet, but this video should still be pretty interesting even if you haven't finished the boat yet. So let's say that you've finished your boat. Once you finish your boat, you have access to two new locations on an island. You get access to the quarry and you also get access to a new watchtower. We're going to head to the watchtower first. And once you get to the watchtower island, your first time, there's going to be quite a few zombies that spawn here, but uh, I've cleared it since then. You have some really easy repairs to do on the watchtower itself. And after you finish those repairs and you come over to these laptops over here, you're met with a message that says that you need to finish a lighthouse. And you can find the lighthouse near the beginning of the level. So you need to repair this lighthouse to do any more work on the watchtower itself. The main ingredient that you're going to notice that's new here is the cement. And to make cement, you're going to need to use the mixer in front of the laboratory at the port. Now to make cement, it's pretty simple. You just need four ingredients and only one of them is actually new. So the sand is going to be the new ingredient. You also need limestone, bauxite, and water bottles. But uh, besides that, it's not too difficult, and you can get sand at the new quarry location. And one of the cool things about the new quarry location is that the devs implemented the weather changes into the environment, so it actually has a bit more life to it. Besides that, this is going to be the place where you're going to get those two new materials, quartz and sand. And it's also worth mentioning that if you would like to reference a written version of all this information, I wrote an article on this before making this video, and you can find that over at PressingX.com. So, when you go to the quarry, you will want two shovels and one iron pickaxe. This will allow you to completely clear the location and get the most of the resources. There are quite a few enemies here though, but I'll give you a few strategies on how to deal with them. And as we head into the quarry, we'll notice these piles of sand. All you have to do is dig at them with a shovel and you'll get two sand. It's pretty across the board that you're going to get 40 sand every time you fully clear this area. And while you're mining the deposits for quartz, you'll notice that sometimes you get a bonus quartz. This is entirely randomized, and sometimes I've walked away with 20 quartz, other times it's been 16. And you can turn all of that quartz that you farmed into glass at your melting furnace. You will need 4 quartz per 1 glass sheet, so if you get lucky and get 20 in one run, that's 5 glass panes. Not a bad payout in my opinion. Now, as far as dealing with the zombies at this location, it is rated at a 3 skull difficulty level, so you are going to want to be a bit cautious. You do not want to aggro a horde of zombies, so instead work around the perimeter and just basically treat it like any other resource zone, clearing the area from zombies first and then mining your resources. So now let's take a look at our resource payout after completely clearing the quarry. And it's pretty common that you're going to get 40 sand if you did a full clear. But like I said before, the quartz drops are going to be a bit variable. You could get 15, you could get 20. Now, when you do finish your lighthouse, as I haven't done that yet, I'm going to be using some footage from the devs trailer. And you can find a link to that video down below. But once you finish the lighthouse and you unlock the watchtower, then you can access the caves where you can mine titanium ore. And this looks like a pretty interesting location. There's not too much functionality to it right now but i'm sure more will be added in the future and thank you so much for watching this video and if you're interested in seeing more informational last day on earth content i would recommend checking out my lde log playlist i've got lots of other helpful videos there and thanks again for watching and have yourself a great day